Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny G's Cars and it's a very windy day. Uh, today I'm going to show this 2011 Subaru Impreza wagon that just came in. It's got 87,000 kilometers on it, which is about 53,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving at Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits to doing it that way. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around, show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I'm going to go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Subaru Impreza wagon is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category. So the larger category, road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll go ahead and uh, take care of it for you this year and you won't have to worry about it until next April or May. Now you do have two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers that finance do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Uh, there are no rain guards to show you, but it does have uh, the slots here for roof racks or crossbars if you want to put those on. But, but you always still want to get yourself a nice uh, windshield visor. Try to keep it as cool as possible. All right, so let's jump on inside. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's gonna be a little dirty, but it's actually pretty clean. All right, uh, key fob on, on your person, uh, foot on the brake, push this one time, and it goes. Squeeze this in here. 86,989 on, on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Obviously there, the fuel one, we just got it in, so we're gonna put some fuel in there. Um, that one right there is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. And this one is a hand brake, so when you disengage it goes away, engage it comes back. And then that one over there is your um, is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do good tickets on and off base. And there is an eco mode if you want to uh, save a little bit of gas, okay? Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. <coughs> Sorry. Um, anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Sorry, doing videos all day. My voice is going. Uh, off in the middle here, you do have a display. It's going to give you the outside temperature and time. You have your radio, air conditioning controls little pocket a little tray here maybe for some coins or whatnot and a power outlet here you have your shifter the uh, eco mode as i told you about uh handbrake uh cup holders and a center console uh that's going to give you a little extra space okay off to the left here you do have your glove box and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel that is your pastor space over there you got your red roof floor hanging out and then you got uh my leg room over here i am 511s everybody loves knowing the seat is all the way back all the way down um, I could drive just as is, all right? Um, that's my eye level right there. I can see eh, probably half the hood, I guess. And right off the bat, that is not available. Don't ask, all right? All right, there you go. Go all the way back. Now, normally is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. Uh, all these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on every single car. But because it just came in, I keep those inside. Once it's been detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. And just real quick, on the sun visor, or on the uh, headliner, it's black. Okay? Uh, it's not like that little lighter color on the previous models. All right? Um, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. On the right side of the dash here, uh, you do have um, uh, this one right here. Is gonna, um, it's for the brightness of the dash while you're driving. And then you have your uh, mirror controls and then a little little compartment here for some coins or whatnot and then all the way back here you do have your hood release and then please don't forget on the bottom here on the floor you have your uh, gas cover release and uh, window and door lock controls on the door panel uh, to turn it off your foot doesn't have to be on the brake you just push this one time and it turns off and it does have paddle shifts uh, I'm not sure if you'll need to use those over here or not all right really nicely done up you got the nice red uh, stitch in on the seats and so forth really nice looking car all right so with the seat all the way back all the way down I'm about an inch away from the back of the seat to my knees nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat as always be careful what you put in here you don't want to rip it and then storage and cup holder on each door panel and then this one right here is cup holders and you do have an armrest that stays level which I always like all right let's go to the back There you have it. 
really decent space back here. If you need extra space and want to put the seats down, you lift on, on those tabs and they will lay down flat. Let's go to the engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. It's been a very long day. Now, this is in great shape. I mean, look at this. See how clean it is. The way it just came in. And this is a 1.5 liter engine. All right. And it, it'll get touched up during the detailing process. So there you have it. Uh, 2011 Subaru Impreza wagon. Uh, 87,000 kilometers on it, which again, about uh, 54,000 miles. Uh, military price was kind of uh, 50. 56 but the additional military discount it goes down to 5400 again while you're here please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts and you will get a lower price for this but for now the 5400 will include a two-year jci the one-year bumper to bumper full warranty the 2022 road tax and a 10 percent sales tax is already included only thing on top will be the american insurance requirement whether you're going liability or full coverage which is totally up to you and we can assist you with that here uh, talking about these warranties out here yes there are two-year warranties out here however they're not the best thing since sliced bread don't be fooled by them all right, uh, stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, but definitely stop by Johnny Z's Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it, use dollars cash out right, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching, take care, hope to see you soon.